every child, every man who is HIV positive has a right to live within communities, has a right to access any treatment, has a right to access anything, whether it's education, um, whether um, it's health, whether it's being in parliament, whether it's it's being in churches, you know, you just not shun anyone because they're HIV positive. It's very important for HIV positive women to have access to their property, to have access to the education, to have access to medication. As a women, Living with HIV and AIDS, we have a right to live, we have a right to marry, we have a right to have children, we have a right to enjoy or to enjoy the family groupings like any other person. I work with the factory workers. I don't promote factory workers, but I'm talking about the working condition. I'm talking about the employer must respect. I'm talking about employer must stop uh, sexual harassment. And they get, should get a very good paid, you know, and good working condition. That is I'm talking about. It's the same thing when I work with sex worker, talking about sex worker rights. It's about the right to, to be to, to be recognized and, and to be heard. We, we know and we understand that only rights can undo the wrongs of generations against this group. We need a guidance note that actually empowers sex workers. Legally, prisoners keep all of their rights except the right of freedom of movement. So from a legal point of view, the state has the obligation to respect those rights of all prisoners, including the right to health. Prisoners are part of our community. They will go into prison, but they will also come out of prison. What happens in prison is of vital importance to the health of the community in general. We've got to think about human rights and we've got to support women, children and men that are HIV positive. We have to have love in the community now. We've got to start loving those people in that love to return back to us if, if anything happens to us. I think the epidemic will not change until we have to be culpable and innocent. Appropriate the rights. La persona que no se apropia de sus propios derechos no puede reclamar ni siquiera reconocer con un derecho violentado.